What's happening guys? So today I want to address if you need to eat a higher protein diet in order to lose weight. And this question comes from, basically I, I talk a lot about the importance of protein, how a higher protein diet aids in fat loss, how the thermic effect of food is much higher in protein, how it helps build and maintain lean body mass, how it helps you feel full while you're dieting, all these benefits that come along with protein. So the question becomes like, do I have to eat really high protein in order to see results? So the question, the, the answer is no, you don't have to, but it's really going to be for your own benefit to do so. You know, I, I understand that it's, it's, it's often hard for a lot of people to eat a higher protein diet. They, they feel like they really struggle. Your options for higher protein foods, it's, it's a little bit limited. It's not like just a huge array of different foods where you can get a lot of protein from. Like your, like carbs and fats, there's lots of foods that you can choose from and, and they're usually a little bit better tasting foods, right? And let's, let's just be honest. <laughs> so um, it, it can be a little bit of a drudgery for a lot of people to try to get a lot of protein. And especially if you try to increase too fast all at once. For, for the record, what I would typically recommend somebody, if you're eating a lower protein diet now and you want to get higher, don't try to go from like 60 grams of protein to like 150 overnight. It's just never gonna happen. Make a modest bump at first, maybe go to like 80, and then try to raise it like five to 10 grams every single week until you get your protein up where you need it to be. And it'll be a lot easier of a chore to, to get that number where you want it to be without feeling just horrible about it. But no, you do not have to eat high protein, but it's gonna be, not only is it gonna be more difficult, um, it, it, you're going to have to eat less calories because you're not getting the thermic effect of protein. You're not going to be optimally building as much muscle or maintaining as much muscle as you would like. You're you're going to be you're, you're just going to be hungry. Like you're, you're, protein is so filling. It's so much more filling than the other macronutrients are. If you're just relying on nothing but carbs and fats, you're just not going to get full. Um, you know, yeah, you can increase your fiber, but you don't want to do that too much either because if you eat way too much fiber, then you're going to start dealing with bloating and gastrointestinal issues and things like that. So you can't necessarily rely on high fiber either. So between not being able to eat as many calories and not feeling as full, it's gonna be a struggle. You're really gonna have a hard time getting through a dieting phase if you're always hungry and you're just you're not getting any food. Like it's just gonna be a struggle. So higher protein is really gonna make things a lot easier. Is it as fun for most people? No, probably not. But if you're going through a dieting phase, you know, it's not necessarily about having as much fun as you can either. Yes, we always need to think about sustainability of a diet, but at the same time, dieting is never going to be easy. We're always going to have to make some sacrifices. We're going to have to be restrictive because you, you, you don't have to totally restrict any certain foods, but you do have to restrict calories. You're not going to lose weight without creating a caloric deficit. And you do that by eating less calories than you burn. So that's how you do it. And if you're, if you're just not eating any protein or hardly any protein and you won't get that number up, it's going to be a big struggle and you're going to have a hard time losing and you're going to be hungry and it's just not going to be a good experience. Maybe you don't like eating as much protein either, but it's like pick your poison. Which one sounds worse? Eating less calories and being hungry all the time or eating more calories and being less hungry but having to deal with more protein? At the end of the day, it really comes down to that. Which one sounds worse? If you absolutely just hate protein and don't want to do it, and you can stick to low calories and deal with the hunger, by all means do it. But it's probably gonna be a much better process if you have a higher protein diet. So, hope that helps. Any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you later. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving. Every minute, every day I've been craving